Welcome back, Chuck Chews. Today we're going to try Amy's made with organic black beans and vegetable vegetables black bean burrito. Dairy free, plant based. Net weight six ounces or 170 grams. Keep frozen, no GMOs. Uh, one serving is one package, one burrito, 290 calories, total fats, nine grams, cholesterol, zero milligrams, sodium, 680, total carbohydrates, 44 gram. It's 680 milligrams of sodium. I just said 680, realized I didn't say <laughs> what measurement that was. Protein, eight grams. <coughs> Uh, uh, let's see, no GMOs, no genetically engineered ingredients, contains wheat, ooh, this thing's got jalapeno peppers in it, very last thing on the list, jalapenos, at least it's the very last thing on the list, it's not going to be too strong, uh, this was prepared in a facility that processes foods containing milk, soy, Seeds including sunflowers and tree nuts, but no peanuts. Uh, you pretty much, you take this out of the package, you lay it on this, you take a, another paper plate, another plate of any kind and lay it on top of it and microwave it. And you take the whole thing, flip it over and do about another 50, 55 seconds. I did the 55 and had just the slightest of a little blowout at the end. And I just realized, I thought that was cheese that came out of the end. That actually blew a kernel of corn out the end of the, <laughs> the burrito. Uh, I don't know whether to say that's disturbing or what. Um, <laughs> I'll try to cut this in half, see if we can... Ooh, the burrito on this one is not chewy and doughy like they've been on other ones. Other Amy's ones. Gotta give it that. That's what the center looks like. I'm gonna eat off of this one first because that one's gonna blow out everywhere. I'll eat that half off camera. Ooh, I can smell kind of a, uh, it smell like. Spicy kind of smells in there. Southwestern kind of smells. The thing I don't like about some of the Amy ones is they have a lot of extra burrito shell tortilla that they uh, roll up up here at the top. And it does make it kind of hard to bite through and chew through at times. Even though these are really like the thinnest tortillas I have ever seen in my life. I mean, they really smash those things in. Oh, the center is not real hot. So I may not have nuked it long enough. It is messy. It's not a bad flavor. And I got it all over me. Um, where did that even... Um, wasn't expecting corn to be in this thing. I do not read the ingredients list to see what's in these things before I buy them. Um, and that bites me sometimes, but hey, I want to try some new ones. If I definitely see things on the front of the packaging, I don't want, that I don't get them like broccoli and Brussels sprouts and things like that. But I'm just, I don't know, I wasn't really expecting corn in this. I mean, it's not bad. Got a good flavor. You can barely, barely, so far, I haven't bitten into one. I can barely get the jalapeno flavor. I can see one right there. You are not going to attack me today. See some square things in here. I think that might be some tofu. Not sure what that is. Looks like potato. They wouldn't put potato in this, would they? 
organic potatoes. <laughs> I guess that is a potato. <laughs> hey, oh well. This thing's got everything but the kitchen sink in it. Um, the jalapeno and the spice is starting to kick in again right now. It's getting a little spicy. I probably, I like the taste of it. It's not bad. The ingredients aren't bad. But I don't like spicy food, so I probably wouldn't do this one again personally. But I have to give it a thumbs up because it's actually not that bad of a, of a burrito. The only thing I don't like about Amy's burritos is the price. They are really expensive for what they are. Um, they're just a little, little on the pricey side. Like, way on the pricey side. But uh, you've had the Amy's Black Bean Burrito. Let me know in the comments below. You like it or not? Till the next video. I know there was a jalapeno in that bite.